The House Committee investigating the January 6th Capitol insurrection has issued more than one dozen new subpoenas to some of Donald Trump's closest allies as lawmakers try to uncover who was behind that deadly riot. Newsy congressional correspondent Nathaniel Reed has the story for us. The committee charged with investigating January 6th issuing 16 new subpoenas this week, all to former members of President Trump's orbit. Six received requests for information on Monday. The group, mostly members of President Trump's re-election campaign, including the campaign manager, also subpoenaed former National Security Advisor Michael Flynn, who pleaded guilty to lying to the FBI in 2017, but was pardoned by then-President Trump. On Tuesday, another 10 subpoenas. Nine sent to former members of the Trump White House, including former press secretary Kayleigh McEnany and senior advisor Stephen Miller. Committee Chair Benny Thompson writing, We need to know precisely what role the former president and his aides played in efforts to stop the counting of the electoral votes and if they were in touch with anyone outside the White House attempting to overturn the outcome of the election. The January 6th panel is made up of nine members, seven Democrats and two Republicans all appointed by House Speaker Nancy Pelosi. Both Republicans, Adam Kinzinger and Liz Cheney, frequent critics of President Trump. Millions of Americans have been tragically misled by former President Trump, who continues to this day to use language that he knows provoked violence on January 6th. The January 6th committee is amid a busy fall, leading an effort to hold Stephen Bannon, a former White House chief strategist under President Trump, in contempt of Congress a charge that now rests with the Department of Justice to adjudicate. And another big development this week in the committee's battle for cooperation, a federal judge late Tuesday rejected former President Trump's attempts to stop the release of White House records sought by the panel, ruling the former president does not have a claim to executive privilege. Attorneys for President Trump have already appealed that ruling. Nathaniel Reed, Newsy, the Capitol. So far, the January 6th committee has interviewed more than 150 witnesses.